Hey there, it's me again. Um, I've got uh, a friend doing the camera work for me, so it's a uh, it's a live shoot today. Um, I'm just drilling uh, the there's a critical hole on this little piece of machinery that I'm working on. This is the block and regenerator for a walking beam Sterling heat engine um, that I'm building. Um, it's a model that's available from littlemachineshop.com. They're a nice little shop for a lot of these little uh, Sterling engines and just about anything you'd ever want for the home home machine shop. And yes, I probably need to give them a call. But I wanted to show folks that uh, with just a common drill press, you can do a, a lot of things at home. If you're waiting to, until you have several thousand dollars worth of milling machinery to do your projects, then you're never going to get anything done. If you notice, this is wrapped up. It's padded with a with part of an old leather belt. It's it's knocked into place with a wooden clamp. Uh, this is just one of the uh, clamps I used to build the barrel organ. In fact, it's just a wood clamp. You can get it anywhere. Um, the the deck on this drill press happens to be able to turn to 30 degrees. And as you can see by the little divot, I've already sort of sighted this one in a little bit. So I know where the hole is going to go. Um, the inside here, it, it this will be the connector between the hot end of the engine and the cold end right here at the piston. And uh, this wire that's stuck in here goes right in, and the drill the drill tip should touch this wire and cause it to vibrate or fall out. So I know when I'm through without having to stand on my head and look up the hole. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm using white lithium grease as a drilling a lubricant. Um, uh, Aluminum is kind of sticky, and I, I figured the, the lithium grease will work just as well as anything any cutting fluid will. So we'll do this really quick. I'm just easing this down in here. Aluminum is real soft and it's very easy to get through. I'm watching the gauge up here on the side. Got about a quarter inch to go. There's a gauge up here that tells me how deep the hole is. So I have an idea when I'm getting close. There. Yeah, and there's the tipping a little difference between it and the wire. So I feel it, it's all the way through. And that's it. Pulling a hole, improvising, get it done. 